tutorial, you'll need a couple things. Um, first, a brush or a comb of some sort. I'm just using my boar bristle brush. It's from Sally's, um, like $5. And um, a serum of some sort. If you get frizzy ends or have dry ends, um, I'm just using my jojoba oil. You can use um, kind of any serum. If you have oily hair, um, just do the ends of your hair. I'm not doing the roots at all. And then you'll need some sort of like hairspray to keep your curls lasting. These actually have been in for a full 24 hours um, and they're still in after sleeping on them. Um, but if I did like a spray of some sort, it probably would be more voluminous and actually last longer. So I'm just using this um, up all night spray from my Ipsy bag. It's like a rice texture spray. Um, it actually helps um, a lot for my hair. Just use whatever you have, like a, I don't know, like a sea salt spray or something. And then water and a clip. This actually helps a lot. And your scarf. I actually cut my infinity scarf because I don't wear this color. Um, so it works perfectly for this. You could use a thicker scarf if you want um, more, like, bigger curls, uh, but this is perfect for my hair. I'm gonna take this out and um, make sure you brush your hair because you don't want any tangles or anything in it. And I did my four bristle brush last night, so this is just any of the tangles from sleeping on it. And then you wanna just spritz your hair. You don't want it soaking. Um, if you're coming right out of the shower, um, let your hair air dry for like about 90% of your hair is dry. You don't want it really wet um, or else the curls won't dry. So I just spritz my hair. Woo! And you can always little spritz like if you feel your hair is drying as you're doing the curls. You can kind of spritz your hair. Okay, and then just a few drops of your serum. You don't want very much. I just did like a cut, like one or two drops maybe. I love my jojoba oil. And I'm just doing sort of the mid shaft to ends. I'm not really doing my roots because I get oily roots really quickly. All right, and then whatever sort of holding spray that you're gonna use, I'm gonna use my rice spray. It smells really good too, especially on like second or third day hair. Kind of has a fragrance to it. It's probably not no poo like certified, but it works for me. Okay. So now that I have my hair nice and ready, actually those curls are staying in. Pretty surprised by how this works. Okay, so I have the scarf around my neck and what you wanna do is just tie it around your hairline. So I put it over my ears because you don't want it on your hair, like on your hair. Make sure all of your hair is over the scarf. And then you're gonna tie it. Ooh. Right at your hairline. And if you're sleeping in this, you can tie it again right now. Like you can do another knot so then it stays kind of in place. Um, also, if you have thicker hair, you could insert another scarf through here and do one row up here and then one row down here. I don't have very thick hair. Um, so I'm going to keep my part where I have it. Make sure all my hair's out. If you have bangs and you want them to be straighter, you can put the scarf, put your bangs under the scarf, if that makes sense. And then I make sure that my hair is nice and smooth when I wrap it. Okay. So it's going to be, there we go. 
All right, so I take about a section, about an inch. If you take bigger pieces, you'll have bigger curls, and then you just wrap over, and then grab another piece of hair, kind of like a braid when you add hair to your existing hair. And this is very similar to the headband curls, except for your headband usually is like right here, and then you wrap, and then you have like this straight part, and it's like really poofy curly. This also is sort of um, an adaptation of what I saw in a no-poo group of scarf curls. I tried them and they just were too loose. And then I had an aha moment. All right. So you just keep adding, making sure that you're not adding kind of random pieces so that your curls stay nice and uniform. And I kind of keep it tight because I want my curls to last a long time. And then in the back, kind of split it down the middle because um, you want half of it wrapped around this tail and the other half wrapped around the other tail we're gonna do. So I'm splitting the back right now so that I can wrap it evenly. And this is actually pretty easy for a beginner. You just kind of split it and then, ooh, got some extra somewhere and then wrap it. Do you see what I'm doing? And I think this is my last part. Four. And then you just keep wrapping it around like this. And if you have long hair, you just kind of keep wrapping it. And then I'll tell you for long hair what you do in just a minute. So just keep wrapping it around until all the ends are in. Okay. And I kind of scoot it up like that. Okay. And then what I do, because you want to keep this tight, is you take your clippy and you kind of clip the end to kind of what you wrapped around. So then when you work on your other side, this doesn't get loose because you want this to stay nice and tight. So we're just gonna do the same thing on this other side. It's got a little bit dry, so I'm just gonna spritz just a little bit of water real quick. And I'll brush through it. Okay, and um, the higher, the closer you are to your part, the, the higher your curls will start. So if you wanted curls to start up way higher, you can move your scarf over and start wrapping kind of in this area. And then if you wanted, if you have really long hair, um, then you can start your second row of curls right here. Um, I don't have really long hair, so this works perfectly. So over, and then I hold, I uh, try to make sure this comes down. Make sure your hair stays really straight and not crazy, because then your curls will be more defined, I guess. This also doubles as a hairdo, if you needed to go to the grocery store, I don't know how crazy this would look. Maybe if you put on your like Game of Thrones dress or something, then it wouldn't look so out of place. <laughs> All right.
make sure you guys are seeing all what I'm doing. And right here I'm just feeling, making sure I'm not getting any extra. And I think this will probably be my last one. And then you just wrap around and around and around. Okay, so now this one is done. I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see. And then you're gonna take this one off and you're gonna tie them together. And then I tie another one. Just so that it stays nice and tight. So just like that. And then you're done. So then if you wanted to, you can like put this over your hair. I find that if I move it up, it actually gets looser. But this is really nice and tight. You can see here when I move the camera so you can see what it looks like. Kind of like a halo, a scarf halo, like a turban almost. All right, so um, I am not going to sleep in this, but you can sleep in it. Um, this is morning to me right now. So I'm just going to do some housework and drink some coffee and let it set in there for a little while. If you're in a hurry, you can do like a a warm heat on your dryer or go sit outside if it's nice and warm and kind of let the sun dry it for you. I forgot to mention um, what you do for um, long hair. Um, so what you would do is you would wrap it around like we did and then uh, instead of tying in the back, you would probably have to either um, wrap your tails around to the front and tie um, or use a clip and kind of clamp on to this part. So um, this tail, you know, you would wrap the back of it, the tail, the end of it, and then like just keep wrapping it around the around the tail end and then um, wrap it around the front of your hair and either clip it or these tails are super long and I could probably tie it in the front like that. Um, or you could clip it in the front um, if you're if you have really, really long hair, um, you can kind of clip it like this. Um, just make sure that your ends stay really nice and tight on um, your scarf. Time to take it out. Who's ready to see what it looks like? So just untie. Oh! Okay. Look at these pretty curls. Ah, oh, these are so pretty. This is my favorite way to do this. Look at all those curls. Okay. This side too. And the positive thing about wrapping it, oh my gosh, it looks like I got a little bit crazy over here. About wrapping it really nicely, so that your curls come off better. I think I spoke too soon. I need to brush this out. Not too bad. Okay. You want to make sure that your curls feel dry before you try and take them out. Okay. And then loosen them with your fingers. 
don't recommend brushing these curls because you'll get a big fro mess. Look how pretty those curls are. I mean, goodbye lengthy curling iron sessions. Let's see the back. Oh, there's a little bit of curly stew at first. But oh my gosh, how pretty are these? Hello, heaven. Just kidding. I am gonna just brush just the top of it. I think I had some crazy frizz from taking them out. And then if you want to, you can spritz it with more holding spray or like a hairspray or something. All right, so I just finish it up for me, just with a little clip right in the bangs. Whoa, hello curls. Um, just because I made the mistake of cutting my bangs. Also cutting my bangs by myself. But I mean, how beautiful are these curls? And then the way I would finish it would probably be a little bit of back combing just in the, right here, the crown area. And then you're all done. All right. I would love to see your photos of what you do. So um, you can take me on Instagram. I'll put my tag. Um, I have... Uh, at mom of two little ladies and I'll put that link down below and uh, Comment if you have any problems or have any suggestions or want to see other tutorials. I mean Not too bad, huh? Thanks for watching guys. Bye